This is the setup of my Mosin I got in 9130. I know there's videos all over YouTube of what people did to theirs, but this is what I did to mine. And I hope you guys like it as much as I do. I put the ATI stock on it, Caldwell XLA bipod, and the claw sling. The gun is empty, just so everybody knows, so I don't get blown up in the comments. Uh, I'll start off with the stock. It came in this nice little black box, little magnetic top, form-fitting foam for your stock in there. It's nice, not a big deal. 80 bucks in my MC Sports. It's about where it is everywhere. I'm sure you can find them a little bit cheaper. So, it comes with two sling studs right in the beginning, which is important for my bipod. But, it comes with the sling studs, the coil pad, which is impo important it's for everyone that has a Mosin, they know that. Little indent for if you got a bent bolt on yours, if I can get the camera to focus on that. Uh, checkered forehand and handle. Mine had a little nick in it right there, if you can see that. I'm not too pleased with that, but not a big deal. Not the end of the world. Overall quality, I'd give it a uh, 8 out of 10. I mean, it, it could be nicer, but it's 80 bucks. It's, it's what you pay for. It's what I want it to be, really. The cheek rest, it's perfect for me. When I look down at it, I can see the sights perfectly. But for someone else, if they have a scope on it, it'd probably be a little too low. But you can just compensate for that, I guess. Just look up a little bit, put it down a little, a little higher, lower. My bad. Um, next is the uh, Caldwell XLA, which mounts right into the sling stud, which is nice for me, so I don't have to drill it. It's a nice bipod. It pivots. It was only fifty bucks at MIMC Sports. Might be a little bit different somewhere else. Again, it's not a Harris. I mean, don't get me wrong. Legs pop out. I like that. Uh, these are plastic. Eh. I doubt they're going to break. Feels sturdy to me. But then it's got another little sling stud in there. In case you do want to put a sling on because this takes up the existing sling stud. And I put a claw sling on it. Which I actually really like. I haven't heard about it until recently. It's not innovative or anything, but it's just a little rubber. So it sticks to you, rain or shine. I'm going to use through hunting so I might get a little wet sometimes. So, slings on it. Big deal. But for those of you who don't know, and I'm sure most of you know this, but just in case someone doesn't know how this gun works because I haven't held one, stripper clips, if you have them, they still fit with this stock. You can still run your stripper clips, which was a big deal for me. Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't put this video outside like I would want to, but here in Michigan we already got six feet of snow. Isn't that a dandy? I hope you guys liked it. Comment any changes you'd make to yours. If I did anything wrong, in your opinion. Uh, let me see your Mosins. Tell me what you got. Like and subscribe if you liked it. If not, go somewhere else.